Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira. I'm a social media manager and digital marketer. And today we are talking about how to grow and get started on TikTok in 2021. If you are just starting out with your TikTok journey or you've been on the app for a while and you really haven't seen growth lately, this video is for you. So TikTok is by far the fastest growing social media platform. There is so much potential on the app and so many of us who have been trying to grow on Instagram for a long time are just starting to get frustrated. The algorithm is hard to figure out and we're hopping over to TikTok and seeing crazy success. Just a few interesting facts that I found about TikTok user data if you're still on the edge of whether or not you should hop onto TikTok in order to promote you or your brand. So first of all, there are 689 million active monthly users. TikTok is also the most downloaded app in the Apple App Store ever, which is crazy. And users spend an average of 52 minutes per day on the app. That data was from back in 2019, so I'm willing to bet that it's even more now. If you're personally on TikTok, you'll know how completely addicting the app is. It's so entertaining, it's fun, it's educational. It's really an incredible app. So I've been on TikTok for a little bit over a year now. I've been able to grow my platform to almost 20,000 followers. So yes, there are definitely people who have grown more than me, but I have not been as dedicated as I wish I would have been um, the whole time. I've really been pretty dedicated in the last four to five months. At the beginning, I was kind of on and off. I've definitely had some videos do fairly well on the app, nothing completely insane, but I've had several videos go mini viral to around one, two, three hundred thousand views. The app is also where I've gotten probably the majority of my client leads. So in terms of promoting my business and getting social media management clients, it's been the most successful form of prospecting for me. If you're also wondering why you should even listen to me, here's a few screenshots of comments people have left on my video. So I'd say that my videos have been fairly helpful and I hope this YouTube video that goes more in depth will be really helpful for you as well. So the outline I'm about to share with you is exactly what I followed in order to double my growth in less than two weeks. I was at about 6,000 followers and I decided to take TikTok really seriously and I more than doubled it like I said, in under two weeks. Since then, I've also seen steady growth. And like I mentioned, I'm around 20,000 followers now. I've also helped some of my clients see amazing growth on TikTok. One client I was able to take from 580 followers to 18,000 followers in less than three months without having them create any original content. So they weren't even putting any effort into the app, which I don't necessarily recommend, but because they were so busy, I was still able to take other video content that they, that they had repurpose it and grow their account that much in such a short amount of time. All right, so without further ado, let's dive in on how to get started on TikTok in 2021. I also have a free six page guide that will walk you through everything we talk about in this video. It's sort of like a checklist that allows you to go along to audit your profile and to improve your videos. So check out the description for the link to that free download. Without further ado, let's get started. So tip number one is going to be to optimize your bio. Before you get started, you want to make sure your bio is completely optimized. What can often happen on TikTok is you can have a video go viral and it's amazing and it's exciting, but then you ha see hardly any follows from that video. So you wanna make sure that you're prepared so that if a video does go viral and someone clicks on your profile, they know exactly what you're about and they can make that quick split second decision to follow you. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in your bio is just share a brief description of what you have to offer. Yes, you wanna describe you, but you mostly wanna focus on the viewer. What are you going to provide them? So for example, my TikTok profile, I say that I'm a social media manager and then I say, follow me for TikTok, email, and online marketing tips so that people automatically know that that's what my profile is about and that I'm gonna be consistently delivering them value. Then lastly, you're gonna to wanna to include what's called a CTA, a call to action, right below at the bottom of your bio. So mine says, work with me, points to an arrow, and then the link in my bio will lead them to be able to work with me. You wanna be specific with this CTA, for example, 
when I had this TikTok audit and I first came out with it, I put download my TikTok audit and link to it below. And then third, you're going to want to have a link in your bio so that people can take action from your TikTok profile if they want to interact with you more. So I have what's called a milkshake account. It's kind of like Linktree or link in bio. Um, I prefer milkshake because it's really beautiful and it doesn't give an error message on TikTok. So it's really important that you don't use Linktree. And there's a few other link in bio apps that will give an error message. What you have to understand about users on the internet is they want the path of least resistance. If they get an error and they have to click past that, chances are they're just gonna exit out. Um, so if you do need to have multiple links, I recommend Milkshake, but there's some other uh, link in bio apps that work great for that as well. However, if you're a brand or you have a product that you're trying to sell, I would suggest if at all possible to just put a single link in your bio. Again, that's the path of least resistance, one click and they're off to where you want them to be. Me personally, I just have so many things that I want to link to that I really can't just have one link. Um, but if you're a brand with just a website where you sell your products, consider not using a link in bio and just doing one link. You can also do like, for example, when I launched this um, free TikTok audit worksheet that you can download um, in the description, I had a ton of people asking for it, a ton of traffic to it. So I just put the link to that for like 24 hours. So if you have something, if you have a video that's blowing up, if you're launching something new and exciting, you can just put that link for a little bit and then go back to your link in bio system after that. Oh, and I forgot one last thing, your profile photo. So if you are trying to grow on TikTok, your profile photo, you want it to just be crisp, clean, you want it to be of you or your brand's logo, of course. I see a lot of people make this mistake where they're starting to dabble with TikTok, they're putting out content of the niche that they wanna grow in, but they don't quite want to fully commit. So their profile photo is still, for example, like a wedding photo or a graduation photo. So photos like that that are more personal, a photo of them and their boyfriend. Um, if people see a video from you that's super educational and helpful, but that's your profile photo, they're probably gonna think, oh, that's just a one-off photo, they're just a personal account. There's no value to me, so I'm not gonna follow. So if you're really wanting to grow, if you're wanting to pro provide value to TikTok, use a profile photo that's just of you that showcases whatever niche you're in. So for example, if you're, um, a you know sharing workout videos share a photo of you in workout clothes the second thing you're going to do as a beginner on tiktok is come up with a list of at least 20 really great hooks a hook is the first sentence of your video and on tiktok it is everything trust me it will completely make all the difference if you have an amazing video but you just kind of started out like hey guys so um I have some thoughts on this topic. No one is gonna watch, scroll. TikTok is a fast app, so you have to have a fast hook to stop people's scroll, to hook them in and to make them stop and watch your video. If you need help figuring out what hooks to use, you can honestly just scroll your app and start thinking critically about the videos that you see. Notice the videos that are going viral and think about the first sentence that they use. Oftentimes it'll be something like, you won't believe this blank that I tried, or you won't believe what happened to me once I started doing X. Um, stop making these five mistakes in blank. Um, it's actually really easy once you start noticing these patterns to templatize hooks and to use them for your personal niche. So to help you guys out, I created a list of 20 of the best hooks that I've seen from my videos that I know have performed well and also from other people's videos. So I'm also gonna put that in the description. So I have lots of helpful um, little printables for you guys to download um, to really make this successful. Okay, now once you've come up with your 20 hooks, you're gonna create your first seven videos. And here's the thing, I need you to commit to a week of videos, one video per day. 
And if you have not started on TikTok yet, that may sound like a lot, but I promise you it's actually really fast, especially once you start going. You could even batch all these videos in one day. You could change your shirt a few times if you want it to look like different days, but that's kind of the beauty of TikTok. You honestly don't have to do that. Sometimes I'll post photos or videos um, with the same shirt for like 10 videos in a row, and it really doesn't matter. So if you can commit to one video a day for seven days or even better, one video a day for a month, I promise you will see success. So to start, you're just gonna go through that list of hooks that I shared below in the description, or like I said, if you wanna make your own list, you totally can, especially for your specific niche, and then just fill in the keywords that you need to for the hooks, and that will give you your seven, or if you're feeling really adventurous, 30 videos. I would focus on about half of those videos being trends and about half of them just being value packed content. Of course, you can always provide value with a trend as well. Um, again, if you're newer to TikTok, you might not know how do I find trends. The first would be to just scroll the app, spend 30, 45, 52, since that's the average minutes a day on the app and start noticing what the trends are. You can save the sound and then when you have your list of hooks, you can combine your hook with a trend and voila, you have a potentially viral video. One quick tip, if you really have a hard time finding trends after scrolling still and you're not sure which to use, you can download the app Trend Talk. That's a great app. It tells you which sounds are trending. Like I said, if you start your account with an optimized bio and seven or 30 videos in a row with great hooks and value packed content, you will see growth. Of course, there are a few other factors that go into having a successful TikTok video. One is talking loudly, another is talking fairly quickly, and the third and most important thing is lighting. Um, if you have an iPhone, you'll have a pretty good quality video, and really the best thing for lighting is just to go in front of a window. That's what I'm doing right now. That's what I do for a lot of my TikToks that have um, really well lit backgrounds. I don't love the filters on TikTok, but if you're filming a trend, you kind of have to film in TikTok. If you're just filming a video with, you know, here's three tips for X, I like to go into Instagram and film in there, use their um, filters and then upload it to TikTok. All right, that's it. That's three easy steps to get started on TikTok. Like I mentioned in my description, I have the 20 hooks that you can use and templatize to fit your niche. And I also have the TikTok audit. That's gonna go even more in depth than this video did. If you guys have more questions or want me to even do a tutorial on how to create a TikTok video, just comment below. Let me know what video you want to see next. And lastly, if you're wanting to get on TikTok or social media for your brand, but you simply don't have the time, I am a social media manager. You can check out the link in the description to see my services and even apply to work with me. If you're not ready to hire someone for complete social media management, I also have one-on-one -on -one consoles that you can book via the link in the description. All right, that's it for today. Comment below, let me know if you found this helpful and let me know, are you going to use those hooks and what are you committing to when it comes to posting on TikTok? Are you gonna do seven straight days of videos or 30? Let me know. Bye for now.